Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Jonathan's Better Games where today we're going to be playing Tailwind Prologue from the April 2016 Humble Monthly Bundle. Um, as you can see it's very, very pretty game, very, a lot of pinks, a lot of, very, very hipstery I think is the word I'm going for here. Geometric simple shapes and the reason I'm trying to talk, the reason I'm talking so much about this now is because when I get into it it's going to be kind of hard to focus on what I'm trying to say and the game at the same time and you'll see that momentarily. The controls are fairly simple. You click where you want to go, uh, your tail destroys things, but it seems that the main point is for you to try to dive through them like that. And you get points, and I'm not really sure what is what goes on beyond that, because it's a very fast-paced game, and it seems that, that is, that's all we're really focusing on. So I'm going to go ahead and press space and get right into it to show you guys what I mean. It reminds me faintly of the... Uh, the style of gameplay that you find in... What was that game? Avalanche. Super Avalanche. Very fast paced, you die very quickly. The only difference is that really you're going down instead of up, and you don't really have a control over how fast you're going. You're not really trying to race anything, you're just trying to get the best score possible. But the action itself is very quick and ha haptic. I don't know that this word I'm looking for. Hec hectic is the word I'm looking for. As you can see, I die very quickly. It's hard to tell why I die. You now I'm supposed to avoid the rocks. The one thing I would say is I wish the directions were a little clear on what I'm supposed to be avoiding. Like obviously ships and bullets are one thing, but these rocks kind of don't look as dangerous, especially not in comparison to the to the black rocks over there. I didn't get to right click. I was about to right click and show you guys what that does. It's not really anything too big. It's just kind of like a bomb from what I can tell. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to hold it. So far I've only been kind of releasing it and it doesn't seem like anything happens. Now that time I clicked and I don't think it fucking went off for me. Which is a little bit frustrating. Not really sure the purpose of the... Oh god, the bullets. You kinda just gotta be on your toes at all times. Oh. Okay, so there's a little bit of a delay between when you click and when you can click again. So you gotta... There's an element of... Paying attention to what you're doing. At... Damn. And clearly that's not conducive to a type of style where you're trying to narrate what you're doing and commentate on the gameplay as well as play the actual game. This is a very high quality game though. Um, and by high quality I just mean the, st the gameplay could obviously be, be better. It's, an, it's a humble original so there's not much you can really complain about there because it's, it's experimental and it was made specifically for the bundle so I'm not expecting like high tier gameplay here. But the design and the the styling is very beautiful. I like the aesthetic. Or I'm sorry, aesthetic. People have been complaining about the way that I pronounce the word aesthetic. It's just the way that I've learned to pronounce it. You know, like, you can just you can just, just get out of here, man. But uh I, it's not my kind of game just because I'm not good at this rapid paying attention to bullets everywhere. And I, I didn't even see what got me there. And in that way, it's kind of frustrating. And the cursor, the cursor is a little frustrating because you're always used to that angled pointer, but this is slightly off kilter. Even though it's pointing straight down, it still has that angle that's kind of almost cursory, but not really. Oh god. Am I just supposed to look for an empty area and click? Because that's what it feels like most of the time. What did that. Oh, does it slow down time as long as I've got that up? That would be good. Another thing that I thought would be interesting for this game in particular is it's called Tailwind Prologue, which means it's the beginning of something, and I'm not really sure if that means that there's more to follow, but see, what I mean by interesting is that would be if this is something that's going to be like a series exclusive to the Humble Monthly, that would be pretty neato. You know what I mean? So if this is like the opening chapter to a different sort of game... Or a storyline. Or maybe it's... I'd hate to think that it's just advertising its game within the bundle and it's going to be like its own series from outside. Just because it's like, why include it in the bundle? Why, why use that as a platform to advertise? But I guess I can't complain too much. Or even speculate that much because I have no idea myself. But the name Prologue kind of denotes that something else is going to be coming, so... 
Might be interesting to see where that goes if it goes anywhere. Uh, I can't really get anywhere with this. 308. I'm actually I'm absolutely abysmal at this game. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I if anyone is better than me. Probably, I imagine. No, call me John. is better for now. It feels like they shoot where I'm going to be rather than where I am. But maybe that's just me being fucking terrible. Maybe I'm blinking too much. I would say, but no. Seems like it's more about luck than anything. That's why I really don't like these kinds of games, is because it seems like it's about skill, but you can't really tell what you're doing. You can't see me, but I keep throwing my hands up like, what the fuck just happened there, man? Should my gamer sense be going off? Should I be seeing something that I'm not seeing here? I feel like some... What even blew me up that time? Holy fucking shit. Yeah, I suppose I could just stay up here and just move around the bullets, but that doesn't even seem like that's going to work because I already got bullets flying at me. Oh, oh wait, I can fly. Oh my god, I this changes everything about two-thirds of the way through. I can fucking... I forgot that I could do this. Why was I... I learned this when I fucking went to play the game and see what it was all about and get used to the controls so I didn't look like an idiot. And I'll be damned if I'm not sitting here looking like an idiot as we speak. I have a special talent for looking like an idiot, in case you guys haven't noticed. I imagine people are just sitting there like, dude, you can... And I just dive right into enemies now. This playthrough is just going south. I don't blame anyone for not liking these fucking... I actually just dove right into that one. I'm not... I'm not trying to, believe it or not. I wonder what that means. Okay, that is not a bullet shield. I'm guessing that's just a stylistic representation of I'm going super fast. So I can touch... Touch those rocks. Those rocks aren't the problem. I just gotta avoid bullets, I guess. Bullets and black rocks. Ah oh, man, this is kind of giving me a headache. I feel, I feel like it'd be wrong for me to say that I don't like it, but I'm, I'm at a loss for how much of that is for how how well stylized I feel the game is versus how much I'm actually enjoying the game. So on the one hand, it feels like I am enjoying it, but then on the other hand, it feels like I'm really not enjoying it. But then again, that explains my relationship with more games than I'd like to admit, honestly. Is this, in fact, endless, is my first question. Share your score and let us if you know if you want more. Uh, I don't know if I want more. I can't fucking get a grip on what this game is, honestly. An endless runner is one thing. Kind of wish it was left to right if it were going to be an endless runner. I'm not sure why we're going down. It's a really fucking awkward angle. I don't have guns. I just kind of have a blink. There's not a whole lot of strategy behind it, it seems like. Unless it's all about positioning and then... Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe that's the element that I'm not considering. Nope. That's not it. Feels like... Every time I move my, lo my focus to somewhere else is when I die, but then the game doesn't reward you for focusing in one specific area, so it's kind of... Oh, excuse me. It also feels like there's not a lot of distinguishing. Like, maybe that's just me being spoiled by Riot Games for League of Legends constantly talking about how things appear from one another. It seems like everything kind of blends in at the same time. Everything's really red or black. Even the backgrounds are kind of darkened in colors. And you got the streaks going up, and those aren't a whole lot different from the streaks on the ships. The readability is kind of not there. The style is on point, but the readability is just all over the place at times. Especially... 
Especially when there's a lot going on, I guess. I'm not colorblind as far as I know, so that's not the issue. It's just a matter of... It's either an issue of me being mad because I'm bad, or having some actual points, and I'm not really sure which it is just yet. Because I don't feel like I'm getting any better. And I feel like I'm still noticing things hours after they happen. I just... I don't know, man, you know? It's hard to fucking say sometimes. Let me focus really hard here for a second. Oh, don't want to touch those. Clear out my back lines. Okay, so nothing happened there from what I can tell. Glad I did that. Glad we got that out of the way. Oh, sh... 23. You guys wouldn't believe that the highest score I ever got to was like 100, and that was before I even... 100,000, that is. And that was before I even realized that I could fly around. I'm guessing it's all about positioning and then backing up. You want to position yourself, strike, and then clear your path to get out of the way. Then slow down time for a little bit. Oh, you can... Wait a minute. I think I'm onto something. I think I'm learning. I think I'm getting it. Let me just charge up here. Nope, I crashed before I could use it. Okay, let's see if we can get this next one. This is going to be my last run, I think. I think I've been rambling on for about this for too long. Getting my first thoughts out of the way. Let me not say this is my first one. Let me see if I can get that charged up and see about that first. Right as soon as I get it charged, I blew up. Okay, so we're going to try one more time. And the one thing I kind of like about these, instead of reviewing it like a stereotypical game and kind of getting the first impression of it instead, I feel like it's like a good blend between review and let's play and it's practice. Because I really want to get back into those. I want to I want to get to the point where I'm making those kinds of videos again, but I feel like I can't as long as I got all these reviews. I fucked it. I fucked it every time. I feel like I can't as long as I got those reviews going. So I feel like these are kind of the, the medium point, and I feel like getting a first impression on these is more important than getting a full-blown review because they're kind of kind of extras in the series. They're not really like... It's obviously not, not South Park tier. It's not really for sale anywhere. I said... So yeah, when I right-click, I can kind of draw over them. Which is, I guess, what they were trying to show me in the tutorial that I managed to miss. Because it's just, I'm bad in general. How did that kill me? I feel like I should have dashed through that, but I still died. I feel like this might be a good game for a, a touch screen, too. Oh yeah, that's a fairly interesting mechanic, I suppose. Once you get the hang of it. Oh! Kind of getting up there. 35,000. It's a little better than what I was doing. Oh, that's pretty neato. Nope, I died. I got too distracted by all the pretty colors. But yeah. So that is an early look, or that is a first look at. It is like a momentary, momentary glance that I don't know. Maybe that's fully encompassing what Tailwind is. But to me, it seems pretty cool. It's very well polished. It's very well designed. I like the style choices. The readability, I feel like, could be better. But for what it is, as an addition to the bundle, I kind of like it. I like the quality of it. I'm glad that they included it. I'm glad that I get to experience it. It was made by Cypher Prime Studios Incorporated and is a humble original, which I guess that's the new symbol of the humble original now. It's a little... But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I did, and... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be taking a look at the other edition, the other Humble Monthly edition to the... The other Humble Original edition to the Humble Monthly Bundle for April 2016. And thanks again for watching, and remember that failure is not the worst case scenario, so glow on with your bad selves and stay awesome.